One day after gun control proposals stalled amid partisan bickering in the Senate, a bipartisan group of lawmakers unveiled today what they hope is a compromise plan. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake was among those proposing the so-called no-fly, no-buy gun legislation. Cronkite News reporter Keisha Butts has the story from our Washington Bureau. The latest gun control compromise comes just over a week after the mass shooting that left 49 dead in an Orlando nightclub. And the bill got a powerful endorsement today from Florida Senator Bill Nelson. Uh, I owe it not only to those families of 49, but I owe it to those families of people still in the hospital, some of which may not make it. Senator Nelson spoke at a press conference where four Republicans, three Democrats, and one Independent came out to support Maine Senator Susan Collins' bill to keep guns out of the hands of terrorists. To people who have come up to me as I have been on South Orange Avenue in the heat of summer and have just been engulfed in tears as they hugged and said, please do something. Collins bill uses a smaller list of suspected terrorists than the Democratic legislation that failed yesterday. Her bill would ban gun sales to those on the no-fly list and a secondary screening selectee list. We include a look back provision that ensures a prompt alert to the FBI if anyone who has been listed on the broader terrorism screening database within the past five years purchases a firearm. Blake is also a supporter of Collins legislation. He said no one should buy a gun if they cannot get on a plane. If it's too dangerous to allow you to board a flight, then it ought to be too dangerous to allow you to purchase a weapon. Fleet called this latest bill an attempt to put a measure on the floor that can actually pass. Senator Collins said she hopes her legislation can get a vote the beginning of next week. In Washington, I'm Keisha Butts, Cronkite News.